Both Ed and Tom Russell's reputation has steadily grown with numerous appearances on Boiler Room, Resident Advisor, R&S Records and their own label Polykicks. The duo are now signed to XL Records and can even be heard on Grand Theft Auto's pirate radio station curated by Joy Orbison. Yeah, this one underneath me. It's a track by myself and over mono about a mystical land called Bromley. The pair grew up on either side of the same small Welsh town, Monmouth, 10 years apart in age, split between separated parents but tethered by a shared upbringing in music. In a resident advisor interview, Ed Russell said that, I grew up in South Wales, but I spent the majority of my time coming up to London on the weekends, as all my mates live there. That's where I started clubbing, going out to dodgy drum and bass parties in Brixton. Long before that, Russell was being given a dance music education by his brother, Tom Russell. The elder by 10 years will be known to many as techno producer Truss or MPIA3. Ed Russell recalls, I bought my first pair of decks when I was about 11, probably on Tom's recommendation. At the time, we were both living at my dad's house. He had decks and a massive stack of records and was DJing all the time. I'd steal records from Tom, then rip them and sell these little tape deck packs at school. I spent the whole time at school really wanting to talk about synthesizers and no one was into it. Russell found more like-minded people in Leeds where he moved in 2007 to study a degree in music technology. This was a time when the city's dubstep scene was thriving and he was quickly converted from jungle to drum and bass. Ed remembers that at the time there was so much good stuff happening in Leeds. There was a lot of dubstep coming out. After finishing university, Russell moved to Bath in southwest England and in 2011 he began dishing out a stream of 12 inches on the legendary r and Records. Then he went on to establish his own label with the outstanding inaugural single Hackney Parrot. The track received heavy play from the likes of Jackmaster and Pearson Sound. It's easy to see why. Its cross-rhythmic breakbeats and stuttering diva samples make it the perfect 90s hardcore throwback for contemporary dance floors. The Guardian stated in a review that Hackney Parrot is the kind of undeniable tune that effortlessly crosses between scenes, a hit at grime nights and house clubs alike. For Russell, the appeal lies partly in the mythology surrounding one of British dance music's golden ages. Whenever you watch documentaries about that era, they always paint such an amazing picture of this time when raves were crazy. 5,000 people all up for exactly the same thing. Obviously, the grass is always greener, but it does make me kind of miss that time, though I was only one or two years old when it was happening. Twenty sixteen proved to be an important step forward for the brothers, coming together to create Overmono, relaunching Tesla's Polykicks label as a joint venture, then signing Overmono to the rave rooted XL Records which resulted in the first of three Arla EPs throughout 2016 and 17. The pair unite to consolidate their skills as producers, curators and hardware scientists. The series reveals no conformity or creative restraint throughout. The artistry and skill for production is evident with striking combinations of glitched granulated R&B vocal sampling and expertly designed ambient synthesizers. The pair don't indulge us with big drops and breakdowns. The architecture of these tracks inherit burial and 90s IDM music. On Arla 2, synth programming is skillfully captured on the aptly named O-Coast, as filters are manipulated underneath huge kick drums and a chopped up vocal sample. The skill and creativity of the brothers' storytelling through sampling is undeniable on Telefax 30. The brothers' use of a chopped up sample of a domestic argument is a truly unique experience as a listener. The tension and unease on Isla 2 dissolves with its final track powder dry. Another idiosyncratic production with a driving hypnotic four bar melody. Overmono's trademark euphoria and 90s signifiers are concluded with Inulin and Phase Magenta opening for the Arleth 3 EP. The latter is primed for a warehouse sound system. In 
2018, the brothers contributed to Ed Russell's Polykicks label with Raft Living, Deep Subs and Busy Breaks, drive a sporadic Diva sample throughout. They returned later that year with White's 019, another short yet sweet delivery of intricate breakbeat chops and sound design, making yet another bold statement with just three tracks. Overmono used their distinct minimal energy to keep heads nodding with huge drums and brain melting sub bass on Quadra Love and Three's Front. Modular synthesizers, drum machines, sequencers, samplers and triggers provide the creative means for Ed and Tom to perform their music live. The 2018 Live in Osaka cassette is as rare as it is brilliant, a masterclass of live modular synth programming and sequencing. The 62 minutes of mostly unreleased and never to be released over mono material will only be heard by the lucky few who own the limited release of cassettes. Thankfully, however, the set has also been uploaded to YouTube. Tom and Ed continue to tour their live show around the world with Latiga as their first track of the year on Ed Russell's Polykicks label. Resident Advisor said that there's no big climax, no big drop, no aha moment, just six minutes of bright, propulsive techno. Pictured a two young Doberman sat inside a 1989 BMW 3 Series. Everything you need introduces a new chapter for Overmono, a rebranding of their music with two Doberman photographed in place of the two brothers. Tom and Ed Russell's Everything You Need was the cliffhanger fans were left with as dance floors were closed in the wake of the pandemic. Prior to these events, the brothers were steamrolling the electronic music landscape with collaborations with Tom York, Rosalia, Fortet, Ben UFO, and the all too familiar collaboration with Joy Orbison, as a top YouTube comment states. So this is the track that was on every five minutes at Warehouse Project. That comment was referring to Bromley, which was placed at 56th in Pitchfork's best 100 songs of 2019. That track and the brother's own Latiga were played out constantly by the likes of Fortet and Ben UFO, the former also hiring the duo to remix his track Teenage Bird Song. With all forthcoming shows cancelled, Overmono were given the opportunity to use this unprecedented time to craft new material. The introductory track, Everything You Need, somewhat coincidentally, is a finalised version of the last track the duo were able to perform live at London's Printworks in March 2020, with a raw modular synth hook that's both repetitive enough for dance floors, yet meaningful enough for headphones. <laughs> The second track, Aero, is introduced similarly to Ski Mask's 274. Ski Mask's Compro is one of the many records contributing to the breaks revival that Tesla and Overmono helped foment, and their shared lineage can be traced back to the unearthly terrain of Burial and beyond that, Aphex Twin. Clipper Another five years is the brother's nod to the late Andrew Weatherall. After the dance music legend passed in February 2020, the pair went on a massive Weatherall bender and indulged in various projects from across his lengthy back catalogue. <laughs> Joy Orbison premiered Everything You Need in a BBC Radio 1 show stating that I'm biased but I'm a huge, huge Obermono fan. I don't think there's many sort of electronic outfits out there at the moment that are doing what they're doing. Overmono entered 2021 with big moves. First there was their Pieces of Eight and Echo Rush EP. The first track, Pieces of Eight, was added to the Grand Theft Auto's Joyo's Slipping Santos radio station, curated by Joy Orbison. Then the brothers gifted us with another Polykicks release with the outstanding BMW track and So You Know EP. The drums on this first track hit so crisply with a technical swagger not many producers can match with an ear melting sub bass accompanying them.
the B-side, so you know, arguably eclipses this with one of the most earwormy R&B samples I've heard in a techno track. If that wasn't enough, Over Mono continued with a Fabric Presents release. This offering displays a distinct dynamic UK energy with a joyous techno remix of For Those I Loves, I Have a Love. In true Overmono fashion, this remix is an example of their ability to produce stunning results with minimal elements. A true hands in the air moment that emphasizes the earnest performance of the original track. I have a love, and it never fades. You are God's son across the belly. Remembered by pictures on your telly, our body laying in its glow. Surrounded by the brothers say that there is a lot of energy in the air. This mix is all about trying to capture that feeling and nod to music scenes, past and present. The listener is greeted with more rave revivalism with the rare and brilliant 1994 track, Intellect by Orca. The mix resolves with hypnotic techno and acidic synth lines from Blarwan and Roy of the Ravers. Over Mono concluded the year by delivering yet another scorching two-track EP. The brothers stated that earlier this year we found out the building was being sold for redevelopment. We had two weeks to get out, packing down the studio was left till the very last night and we spent the rest of the time making one last tune. The chords in Baby are those ink stains, woozy and morphing, feeling like they might swallow you up. Their hard work in 2021 resulted in a very busy touring schedule for 2022, just about leaving them enough room to do another release with XO Records. Drum and bass, techno and UK garage gracefully collide with the Cash Romantic EP. It's business as usual with modulating vocal samples and gritty modular synth hooks on tracks like Gunk and G Fortune. The introspective qualities of Burial remain a staple asset to this EP's emotional depth, something few artists can achieve. A Pitchfork review stated that it's like ambient music for the terminally twitchy. That brings us to Overmono's latest release with their debut album, Good Lies. Having established themselves with an outstanding catalogue of releases since partnering in 2016, the duo come together to lean into their populist tendencies, ready to break into the mainstream. They apply the same precision and artistry as before, applying their own burial influence sound on tracks like Arla Fern, with sugary vocal samples and melodic synths. <laughs> NME stated in a review, the simplest comparison for the duo, and with good reason, is Burial, whose icy textures and sharp hits are all over good lies. The average track length sits at just under 4 minutes, with each track aside from Verminly, is built around vocal samples that lend themselves to pop music. A review from The Guardian stated that the most obvious influence is Garage, cleverly warped, infuriatingly catchy vocal samples from sources including alternative singer-songwriter Terza, rapper Slow Tie, and British Algerian soul singer Mira May litter the album. Overmono left a cherry on their long-awaited cake. Their single Blowout arrived in September after the release of Good Lies back in May. In a crack interview, the brothers stated that Blowout was the first thing we made after finishing the album. After the process of being quite methodical, we had an urge to write something that was really out and out Larry and wanted the bass to sound like it was playing out of a blown out speaker. Over Mono have maintained their work ethic in 2024 with a dance floor prime collaboration with Fred again and Lil Yachty on Stay In It, not to mention their work with Joy Orbison and Drill Master Quangface on Freedom 2. Please give the brothers a follow and check out their catalogue of music. You will not regret it. Over Mono are just getting started and their catalogue is only going to improve with bigger and bigger collaborations. Thanks for watching.